Hey everyone, Steph here, and welcome to Ganjam VR Overview. First of all, like, I'm not even sure what I'm looking at, like, there's so many red flags with this title. On the store, this game has no trailer, there are only screenshots of environments of higher quality, but they're not from Quest, of course. There's no footage around, or even an announcement, like, you literally buy a cat in a bag, which is crazy. And the gameplay trailer is like 10 seconds of stuff, like, I will have to slow it down three times or something like that to even comprehend what's going on. <laughs> so Gunjam VR is apparently a rhythm shooter where we have to defeat enemies in a wave-based pattern to the beat of the music of certain areas using a variety of firepower and fight with the speaker. First let's do the normal speed trailer for you to see what I meant and then we'll try to analyze what's going on but like it's an utter chaos on the screen starting with self-shaded environments in some kind of pistol whippy mechanics. You won't necessarily notice that, but the frame rate isn't good either. Even in this short clip, I can notice some drops, and that's probably due to how much is happening actually in the game. It also seems weird to me because in games like that, you can't be bothered with UI and stuff attacking your eyes because you have to focus to the actual gameplay and make sure to play along with the beat, but here it seems to be the complete opposite. It seems like you can interact with the environment, there is some score going on, it will most likely be some kind of arcade scenario, not necessarily anything campaign based, and we'll just see how it's gonna go, like I'm already over pre entering it, so I just hope the project delivers despite all of that. Let's shoot some baddies! Alright, let's see what is it about. First the options as always. Uh, there is no smooth turning, it's just like that. I guess not, okay. Movement vignette. High contrast mode, helps enemies stand out from the environment. We'll see because I do realize this is gonna be very busy visually, so hopefully I won't get confused. <laughs> I don't know, like, it tells me like nothing. Is there like a tutorial or something? <laughs> Beats me. Mate, ready for what? Shoot the beat. Okay. We're standing on place. So this is like a wave shooter. I mean the beat is not obvious. But it is more clear from pistol with like I always found myself struggling. I can't shoot at the same time with two guns. I mean, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I need more challenge. I see, okay. I wish I'd be moving, like that's what VR is for me nowadays. Oh, 
thing is that um, even though the music changes, the beat is kind of the same. Like it's the same, I don't know how to call it, space between the shots. Okay, let's change something, maybe in the settings. High contrast mode, because I wonder if that's like a very big difference. And I don't know actually if we can switch stages. Yeah, they're not even unlocked. Okay, so we just continue with the previous one. That's like an actual tutorial. <laughs> it's not very apparent. Comic weapon. Do they really stand out from the environment? There's no challenge. <laughs> I guess they just have different colors. Is it this music? Yeah. There's no ammo as well, so that's why it's so easy. I mean, it's okay for now. I just wish there would be something more going on, like more complicated. Oh, they switched now. <laughs> Yeah, the beat is very apparent. It's not too hard to catch. There is a slight auto aim, but it's not like crazy. Wait, 
Wait, what's the penalty for just shooting? Oh, there's even a delay on the gun. So it's not like you can shoot constantly. Okay, I think that might be it. Like, there's not a lot changing, honestly. What's like the preview here? Oh, we actually move, okay. Maybe that's gonna be more exciting. <laughs> Okay, but I get it, honestly. <laughs> I think overall it's fine. The performance is not like skipping or something like that. In this day and age, to me, it's rather simple. It depends also on the taste of the music. Like, I think Pistol Whip has way more variety in terms of just the mechanics, combat, everything, honestly. This is like not bad. There are some cool stuff going on. And I guess for the price point, you get what you get. <laughs> Besides choosing the stages, the free play mode which unlocks when you actually play the arcade. Simplistic options, everything that I showed, that's it. <laughs>